solve this exponential equation, where, x is a positive integer. The equation involves, a base raised to an exponent, which is equal to negative 1. We label this as equation 1. If we let, a represent the base, and b represent the exponent, then we have, a to the power of b, equals negative 1. For real numbers, the algebraic expression, a to the power of b, is well defined under certain conditions. If a is greater than 0, then a to the power of b, is defined for all real numbers b. And a to the power of b, is greater than 0. If a is less than 0, then a to the power of b, is defined for all integers b. If a equals 0, then a to the power of b, is defined for positive real numbers b. And a to the power of b, is equal to 0. As a to the power of b, is less than 0. So, a cannot be greater than or equal to 0. That is, a must be less than 0. As a to the power of b, equals negative 1. So, a must be negative 1, and b must be odd. So, solving equation 1, is equivalent to, solving a system of equations, x squared, minus 9x, plus 13, equals negative 1. And x squared, minus 6x, plus 1, equals 2k plus 1, where, k is an integer. We label them as equations 2 and 3 respectively. From equation 2, we have, x squared, minus 9x, plus 14, equals 0. That is, x minus 2, times x minus 7, equals 0. So, either x equals 2, or x equals 7. Now we verify whether they are solutions of the original equation. When x equals 2, x squared, minus 6x, plus 1, equals 2 squared, minus 6 times 2, plus 1, which is equal to, 4 minus 12, plus 1, which is equal to, negative 7, which is odd. So, x equals 2 is a solution. When x equals 7, x squared, minus 6x, plus 1, equals 7 squared, minus 6 times 7, plus 1, which is equal to, 49, minus 42, plus 1, which is equal to 8, which is not odd. So, x equals 7 isn't a solution. Thus, x equals 2 is the only solution.